we are on our way to Regina Maria right now. This is the 10th of September, actually first probable date of the due date. So no signs up until now. I'm just going to go and have a check up with Mihaela and see what's going on. What's going on, baby? <laughs> We've arrived at the monitoring session. Right now, 39 weeks and four days. Now, as I told you before, I don't know if I told you before actually, here on vlog, I think all of these are going to go into the birth vlog. You're just going to see over here on the monitor, you have a button and you press it every time the baby moves. Uh, you have to stay here about 20 minutes each week. So now Mihaela said that that the birth is kind of imminent. So if he doesn't come this weekend on Monday at 9 a.m., I should be here uh, at the control. I think he's having hiccups right now. How can I measure this? I mean... just had internal control and everything is fine the head is still floating but definitely there are signs that the kid is getting ready as in the meconium which is the first poo he's going to be <laughs> making in the first day is already there and prepped so definitely baby rock is on his way I think this is the first time I'm mentioning his name in a video <laughs> So this is for those of you that know what this means. We do have some contractions over here. This is the baby's heartbeat. These are the movements and the larger ones are just, you know, th those waves are the contractions. And you can actually feel it on the belly. Everything tightens up a little bit. But yeah, we are good, 19 movements so far. Baby Rock, I'm wearing your godmother's Berlin walk boots in white. <sighs> this is the room for the monitoring. Super nice, clean and simple. So I sent a picture to Mihela. She said I'm having contractions every two or three minutes. But as long as they're not painful, it's all good. And yeah, I'll just keep you and her updated. So I'm just going to go and grab my cards from the bank and just go shop whatever I had to shop from the mall and see how the day goes, I guess. I don't know. Are you coming today or tomorrow? Didn't we talk about this baby rock? You should have let me know. at the mall right now just got a bubble tea this is the closest version to the original ones we had in Asia I think this is the Thai the Thai one over here yeah just did some shopping in Sephora and I got this too double wear water nude what a fresh makeup actually double wear nude this is shade 3w1 tawny and then it's very similar but a bit lighter because this one is going to dry a bit darker. 230 Pro Filter from Fenty Beauty. Just had to get some new foundation. And also got some super fabulous lashes from Huda Beauty. I do have lashes on but I love the idea of having some nice lashes for an event and I've never tested Huda Beauty lashes. And here a concealer shade coconut flakes a super coverage concealer that works on covering my sunspot i think i'm going to ask raul if he's done with work and maybe pick him up today and just go home 
and wait for baby, for baby to arrive. Nothing painful up to now. I love this. Mm, super good. So it's the 14th of September, Monday. Nothing happened during the weekend except some mild contractions. Actually, I had three contractions with mild period leg -like pains. And um, Mihaela decided that I would come in first thing in the morning so we can check up on the baby. And here I am on the monitor right now. Um, I just had the checkup. She said we are ready and we might as well have the baby today. And if it doesn't happen today, for sure it's going to be tomorrow or maybe just after midnight, you know, so it's just... Baby keeps moving. So as I said, the heartbeat keeps raising every time I start talking. <laughs> so yeah, today might be the day. So it's good, we're going to see how this evolves. I think it's 10, 10, 30, 28 right now. 10 and a half, something like this. And they told me to have the monitoring session and I will be back and maybe, I mean, Michaela asked me to be back at three o'clock, but um, maybe it's going to be earlier. We don't know. I'm just going to take a walk and do whatever I had planned for today and Maybe I'll be back and see what happens. See you soon. <laughs> so it's 10.50 right now. 10.52 and they told me to be back at two and a half. I'm just going to go home and grab my tripod. I'm going to just ask Chi Chi to bring it down because Boy, I don't want to walk up those stairs. Uh, this was the thing I really fear, like being in active labor and they, you know, sending me home and I would have to just go up and down the stairs multiple times. But it's good it's during the day so I can, you know, just do whatever I have to do. And yeah, so I'm just going to take my Polaroid camera from home and take the tripod the bigger tripod and yeah I think we are we are ready with this as soon as I know everything is in my trunk I'm good to go and I want to go to Julius Mall uh, just want to grab something from Fenty from Sephora look what she's doing on the day she's giving birth grabbing a matchstick from Fenty I still have to call Carmen and tell her that I need the shade I need to know the shade of the matchsticks <laughs> this is the best, I, mean, I know it's off topic in the birth vlog, but it's the best shade ever for contouring, for nose, face, cheeks, whatever you want. Just gives you this beautiful, nice shade to contour. I just realized today the school started. Everybody's on the streets. The, the traffic is crazy and... <sighs> Baby Tisha is on his way. I've been to Julius Mall, found my matchsticks. Fenty Beauty shade Amber. This is the shade I've been talking about. A really nice cool contouring shade. And I got a sandwich from Subway. And I think now it's 
12.37, Just going to go and eat my sandwich. I think I'm going to go to the office and then I will be back at Regina Maria for another control and another monitoring session. I'm pretty chill for now, I don't know. I just feel safe with my clinic choice, with the doctors. I've, I really feel safe with Mihaela, I have to say. And the fact that I chose to get an epidural really eases my mind into everything because I think it would have been super stressful if I wouldn't. The group is on, I've just announced everything on social media. Everybody's just sending me messages and, and telling me to be strong. And I just feel like I have this group of 8,100 people with me. It's a big online community and I just wanted to thank you for sending me messages and being here with me in this crazy moment. So I'm at the infused office right now. I'm just, you know, walking around. I had my sandwich. I had some tea, did some stories on our new Slytherin swimsuits we have. Carmen. I wish you were here. You are, but you're a painting. We're back on the monitor and I'm just, I'm just going to lie here for another 20 minutes and wait. And after that, I'm just going to go to Mihela. Again, I'm having some mild contractions, just like period pain and we're just going to see how frequent they are over here on the monitor. So Mihaela was here earlier. She said, let the fun begin. <laughs> oh, fuck. So we're just going to be stuck here in the hospital. We're just going to be stuck here in the hospital. Uh, it's a contraction. But yeah, I'm just going to grab everything I have in the trunk and we are ready to get this party started <laughs> I bet I won't be so happy in maybe two hours I just had a COVID test uh, they're going to bring the results I think later tonight um, and yes if we are going to give birth earlier then I'm just going to be with the kid and as I told you before and as you know from the neonato interview they are only going to take the kid for medical emergency situations in the rest of the time the kid is going to be with you in the room which is well exactly what I want <laughs> so we've just arrived in the room this is going to be my room for the next few days my room and baby Tisha's room let me give you a bigger look. This is the VIP room at Regina Maria in Cluj. Everything looks so beautiful and pretty. You can see the park over here and the changing table for the baby. And here we have, because I wanted to show you everything we have over here and why I didn't pack some stuff because I have everything I need for the after party let's say these super big absorbent things just like so oh my gosh they're big and disposable lingerie and so on and here's the bed it has some cute settings over here so you can just move it up and down as you want for nursing and stuff like that and over here we have towels these are the nightgowns i think and everything so basically it just looks like a hotel to be honest the sink and everything here's my tripod here's my bag and here's the bathroom and here's me <laughs> they showed me around and now why am I still with the mask on? They asked me to take a shower and use this betadine sponge. And after that, the nurse is going to come in and see where we are and what's next. So yeah, I guess we're just getting installed now. 
Now that we're here, I'm just going to go to my luggage and try to unpack some of the stuff I got. And I've just announced that I'm going to stay at the hospital on social media. And I do have to find my charger. I didn't take my fast charger from home, but I do have the red one I packed with me. Good idea. I hope I do have something to just plug it in because I don't see how nothing too bad for now. I have my protein bag over here with everything I packed. By the way, if you haven't seen the video of what I packed in my hospital bag, make sure you check it out here on YouTube because I have a special video with what I chose to pack with me at the hospital. So they just gave me a micro clisma. This is like 130 milliliters, I think. You don't feel a thing. You just feel the need to go to the bathroom afterwards. Definitely, it was one of my worries. Like, how does it feel? Do I have to do it? But they said it's better to do it nothing to be afraid of it's just a sensation you already know you feel the need to go to the toilet you have to stay like this for like 10 to 15 minutes and then you can go to the toilet and then you can take the shower the betadine shower or whatever and then you're ready um for you know whatever is next i don't know what's next so my globo has arrived obviously i had to forget something at home the charger for the socket oh let me tell you about it so we had the very first i mean not the very first but because i had it this morning once again but i had the vaginal exam now this thing this is not a very nice thing let me tell you Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing right here, but why do the legs have to be up if I want? I mean, I just want the back to be up in an upwards position. Okay, this is what I wanted, but I didn't know how to, to do it. So I changed into my clothes. Now, we did the same thing last morning, this morning, sorry, um, with this vaginal exam. This is a not, not a very pleasant part, let's say. I mean, my body was just, they were waiting for a contraction so they could do it. And my body was all the time getting in an upwards position. And this is like just a natural thing to do, but uh, it wasn't very pleasant. We're going to go in and do it again in, uh, in an hour or so. Maybe when I'm more dilated, at least two centimeters. So from what I understand, I'm not dilated at all right now. We're going to see how it works. They asked me on a scale from 1 to 10 how bad are my contractions right now and I said I don't know 1 because it's just like a period pain so it doesn't really feel like anything to be honest and I do expect it to be much much worse in time. And yeah I'm just going to sit around for now, I'm just going to charge my phone. I signed a bunch of papers. Now with the papers I do agree it would be so much better if we could do it earlier but that's the procedure you have to do it on the spot. Se muta un milimetro in aria, nimica. Si mișcă, baby. De când s-a făcut ușeul, simți mai tare contracția sau tot așa? Păi nu știu ce să zic, mai constant, mai degrabă. Da? Știi, adică da, nu tot aceeași durere care am avut înainte, dar parcă mai constantă. Eu vă anunț dacă se, da. se intensifică da. ceva, da. da. Aha, uh -huh. nu știu. Deja nu le mai suport să fie Asta sigur vă spun. Că nu le mai suport. Seems to be super happy here around me. Now I have to do an update on social media because I think the last update has been like an hour ago and I think all of you are just going crazy over what's going on. This is the picture I decided to post on the day baby Tisha is going to arrive. Let's not call him baby Tisha anymore, shall we? On the day Rock was going to arrive, so here we are. Posted it. I'm on Wi-Fi. That's good. So we are back on the monitor right now. We'll be back and forth. 144, 145. The pulse is good. The contractions are not so good. As in 50. They keep laughing at me because I know everything, but I I got informed to be honest and this is my first kid and I just wanted to know everything or as much as I could know about the process and what I actually wanted to say to you girls is the reason everything good rock the reason why I chose to do this vlog and I try to get trust me I try to get any 
approval I could from Regina Maria because we do have a collaboration with them and I was like please let me film the whole process because usually I know baby boy I know you beat him eh? usually all the vlogs all the birth vlogs I've seen at least the ones in Romania are just you know the girls I guess they didn't have I guess they couldn't film oh oh fuck it's a contraction they couldn't film in in the room or at the hospital or I don't know why aren't you showing up because that was hard yeah, everybody's like just on the couch talking about the actual process but you cannot see the process and I wanted to see which you know which are the steps and so on so so far you go to the hospital if you have contractions and they have an exam you're on the table they say okay we're just going to let you in and then you take a shower with that uh, betadine solution and then maybe the microclysma and stuff like that and then you have um, several exams maybe each hour or something like that and I just wanted to say you know I want this information online I want to see how it feels and so on so that's why I wanted to are you joking that was quite a hard contraction anyhow so I just wanted to have to film as much as possible for you guys and have this whole experience for you so yeah we're going to see I mean we're not allowed to film in the actual room where we're going where I'm going to give birth but we are going to be back on I mean I'm just going to tell you when I'm going to leave and have the baby and then the, the very next image I guess is just going to be maybe I'm just going to have a story in between telling you how it was the whole process and so actually giving birth and after that we're just going to be back with actual live images from the magic hour the skin to skin the skin to skin uh, process they have here at Regina Maria now the skin to skin was one of the reasons why I chose Regina Maria because they promote they promote first of all natural birth they promote skin to skin the magic hour they promote you having the baby I mean I cannot believe that in a few hours the baby will be here with me this is crazy this is really something that makes me emotional you know to see the baby outside baby i'm going to see you outside in a few hours i can't believe this he's moving a lot i don't know if you can see on the camera but he's moving a lot and i have to record the movements and so on and I've just remembered, but I cannot move right now. I have some snacks with me. I packed some snacks in advance, which I highly recommend you to because I've been here for like, I think maybe two hours. So I had breakfast at home and then I had the Subway sandwich on the way and I had a tea at the office, but I didn't get to have a proper lunch. So I, don't, I do not consider that sandwich a lunch that you can, you know, that could help you actually give birth. You, you sh I mean, you're kidding, right? I'm super hungry, so I, I'm super curious when the dinner or something is going to arrive. And they asked me if I have any allergies and stuff like that. I'm just going to eat everything. I'm super hungry right now. Hopefully, I'm allowed to eat, right? I'm such a joey right now. So contractions are quite low. Nothing like we've had before. Hopefully, they're just going to get better because I just know that each contraction is going to get me closer to meeting my baby, so... It's good. It's just manageable pain by now. I would like to say it's nothing, but the doctor said maybe I have a good pain, pain endurance because they said the contractions are quite good, quite strong. I don't see them as strong right now. I'll be back with news pretty soon. How the fuck do I get up? I have to stop the camera. I need the remote control for the camera. So I just had... Whew. Oh my God, I feel like I need to pee. We just had the second exam. I'm at two right now, so dilated two centimeters. Mihaela said everything evolved pretty nicely. IV with the glucose and calcium is now close to the finish, if not finished already. They're just going to come in and put some NOSPA. I think this is also going to be an IV. Was this a larger contraction or what? And after this, we're going to start a dosage of five oxytocin. I swear I could bite someone when a contraction hits. Now, 
pelvic contraction is at about 100, which is super good. Just felt a bit dizzy. Just felt the need to have some water, really. It's going to take this off. Uh, they hooked me up to oxytocin. Oxytocin, is it? Pactocin? Five milliliters. You can see the contractions on the monitor. If not, I'm just going to film them up close. They just look like, like this peak of a mountain or you know a heartbeat or something like that i'm just saying this for someone who has never been in this kind of a situation and i know many of you girls watching are just future future mamas for the first time uh, now the very good news is that rock is in his position as in i'm super hungry i don't know why but i'm super hungry and i have dinner in here and they won't let me eat they say i will be able to eat after the birth so yeah uh, they moved my maybe you can see over here because this one is always looking for the baby's heart and they moved one of the measurement discs in the center which is a very good news it means that the baby is getting into position and the head is pushing against my cervix everything is a bit softened good news i'm somewhere at i mean <laughs> is this good news we still have a lot to go until 10 uh but yeah i'm like at a two to three centimeters dilated right now here comes the contraction i can see it going up and i can definitely feel it oh my god this is <laughs> how does it feel it does feel like period pain but so intense like <sighs> It feels super intense in the lower abs region. Now it goes down and I can talk. Uh, it feels just super intense and I think if I feel this way at three, two or th three centimeters or whatever, you can just imagine how bad they do feel later. So I'm super glad that I got an epidural in my birth plan. You're moving baby rock. Just can't believe I'm going to see him here in a few hours this is everything that's going on right this this uh, this is everything i'm allowed to have just water i'm just going to relax for a bit and maybe watch some instagram stories or something on netflix by the way i just finished the series away just love them so much if you happen to love netflix make sure you watch them watch the episodes i think it's just season one now and i think they have 10 episodes and it's just the coolest series ever and when i finished the first season i was like okay what, what am i going to watch right now i think a good idea there's just the baby moving I think a good idea would be to watch maybe Friends or How I Met Your Mother, something really relaxing in this situation, just to take my mind off everything. I also have to call Raul on FaceTime. <laughs> I'll be back with you with more updates soon. So if we do have to talk about what has been pain painful up to this very moment, definitely the checkups Mihaela gave me because she was trying to reach the cervix and see if the head is fixed and everything and those are quite painful you don't die trust me again the contractions not so painful right now i mean they are manageable given the situation with the oxytocin that has been given to me uh, they also gave me a no spa earlier so i think that's supposed to work well with and help me a bit with the whole situation but contractions are now up to 100 which is good every contraction just gets you closer to meeting your baby every contraction i mean right now in between contractions you don't feel shit so it's all good and you have 
the time to rest and exactly when I tell you this <laughs> one comes again but yeah in the contraction I just have to remember to breathe So whenever something bad happens, just remember to breathe. This is exactly as in every type of effort you would do, exactly as in, you know, with sport exercises, you just breathe out on the hardest part. And now the contraction goes down. Yeah, I'm just trying to be here with you and take you through the process. So here's my IV and here's the oxytocin. Just dropping over here slowly. Here's my belly with the monitor and here you can see the monitor which I've been having in my room ever since I got here. Just measuring contractions right now so this is how contractions look but I think it's better to see them over here uh, so every time it hits 100 it's good and they are, they are supposed to get you know just higher in intensity so we can actually have this baby to be honest my main interest with this is to have a, man a manageable level of pain what the fuck is happening to me that's why i wanted to get the epidural and that's why uh, i'm trying to hold on to everything going on up until i will be like four or five centimeters dilated so we can get the epidural on the hard hard hardest part what the fuck let me tell you i've been doing my hair for a while now you know just hoping that rock is going to come one day one day or another or something like this and he didn't believe it or not talking to the camera actually helps me i don't know why Yeah, they are still so short. We are far away, oh my god. We're so far away. I'm just going to call Raul on FaceTime and see what he's doing. Maybe he's home already. I got him a gift from Lisa Vieroma. I'm super curious to see if he likes it. I'm back with news. Mihaela managed to break my membranes right here on the bed and just a gush of warm water with some stuff in it i don't know very similar to a period let's say came out i have this big ass diaper on me right now because with every contraction um i mean contractions are supposed to get harder and harder after they break the membranes and and also a gush of water can come out with you know every contraction and right now i'm just wearing a diaper a giant diaper and we also have something lying on the bed all i want is to just get my hair up 948 is uh, 1948 so it's like how would my grandma say quarter to eight and that's about it acum aveam nevoie de tine raul să mă ajuți cu o freză am eu o freză frumoasă ha halal frezu să la naștere am tot zis eu am tot zis dar nu cred că mai am cum să am vreo freză în viața asta, în momentul ăsta, cui mai pasă de freză, sincer, mie. Uite-te, mă prind părul. Having a contraction or what? Yes, oh fuck. See you later. Okay. The news is they just gave me the epidural and right now the contractions really feel the same I'm having a one right now but how was the epidural now I couldn't actually film because they told me not to and frankly I didn't have underwear and it was not something to film uh, but still i just wanted to take you through the procedure and tell you how it felt 
did I feel any pain? No, I felt just like a, a sting of a bee, like when they take your um, blood tests, exactly the same pain, but in the back, they had an anesthesia before um, on the skin, and that's exactly what I felt. Afterwards, didn't feel a thing really. They have this really thin tube, and I did feel like um, the tube going down, but I think also it was something in my mind because I, I knew the procedure, to be honest. And from there on, it wasn't any kind of pain involved with anesthesia. So this is super easy, super quick, and hopefully we're going to see the effects soon. Right now, I feel a bit sleepy. I'm super tired, but this is my bedtime, to be honest. What kind of a bedtime I have? Nine o'clock, usually I'll go to sleep. So I think that's why I'm feeling sleepy. And yeah, so that's about it with the epidural. It was, it didn't hurt at all. And now we're just waiting for the effects. While I had epidural done, I think maybe it took like 10 minutes or something like this. Trust me, time is very elastic when you're in labor. So I didn't quite look at the phone, but I had three contractions during that time. Every time I had to say when I had a contraction so they wouldn't, you know, work or anything on the contraction, but it was something I could definitely handle just through breathing in and out. And that was all, but, uh, Si, nu zic că eu mă opresc și zic după aia din nou sau ceva. E ok? Bine. And again, the thing I like the most is the fact that you know that the pain is manageable and the fact that the pain stops at one point and starts again after a few minutes, let's say. So it does give you this time to rest. So until I had the epidural again, really, really bad cramps, like maybe being on your period combined with something even worse but it worked good so the guys from ati were here to check up on me definitely i can feel the effect it just feels i think maybe the contractions are somewhere at half the intensity they were before the epidural right now so definitely it made me feel at ease i am happy i had this choice i'm happy i made this choice dr Michaela and diana and everyone who was around here the midwives and so on they said i handle um the pain really well and that some people at 100 and at this type of pain would be you know all over the place and they would ask for an epidural and so on and i was like maybe i could wait for a bit more but they said no this is the perfect moment to get it done and now i'm just trying to monitor myself i guess because they want to see the intensity of the contractions and the way it rises and so on and just try to explain you how it feels right now when we are at 100 but definitely the pain is this is so much better. I'll keep you updated. Baby's doing okay for now. His position is all good. I've been a bit shaky earlier and I feel like I'm a bit tired, let's say. But definitely, I think we can do this. We can do this to get a rock. Let's do it. Even though I had the epidural and I'm super tired right now and I hope I'll be able to sleep at least an hour so I can have the power to push and be there in the moment. Right now I'm just, I don't know, I feel exhausted. I'm super tired and hungry. <sighs> Doi în noaptea <laughs> Și tot aici Pe minge 2 o'clock in the morning 2 am Still here now bouncing with every contraction On a freaking ball I can feel them again I can feel the pressure in my back as well But I think we are on I don't know it's a good bath. So it's two and a half right now. We've been on and off the table three times. I've been trying to do some stuff with bouncy ball and right now it just 
had me here the contractions are worse even with 50 or 70 intensity not, not even 100 but they are so much worse without the epidural because the effects started to wear off and they said that if at three o'clock we're just going to go back on the table the, the kid keeps moving up i don't know why it was so hard to get him down into the birth canal and it's been 16 hours right now he hasn't dropped what can i do really at this point i'm just going to try to sleep exhausted right now just asking you baby please push yourself please help mama oh I'm still waiting I'm just going to try to get some sleep now and maybe by the time I wake up everything will be better hopefully hopefully so I think that, oh fuck. <sighs> I'm about seven centimeters dilated right now, but the baby won't calm down. I don't understand why. <sighs> These contractions are the worst thing ever. I want to bite again. <laughs> Oh my god, and they're not even at 100. see my freaking eyeliner because I cried so much and I thought it would be a mess but it's kind of okay after 12 hours of labor one hour of pushing you know crying the c-section everything coming back here and this morning I've been crying because of the messages I got and the pictures and I don't know I just feel like I woke up and everything was a dream my eyeliner is from benefit girls this shit can stand a lot of things. Age Express, giving birth, underwater shootings, you name it. So I'm pretty good right now. Just recovering. I don't know what kind of an IV I have over here, but I have 
to wipe these going on. I'm just allowed to have some water. And I've been speaking to everybody who's been waiting for news. Baby has been born at 4.44 in the morning. I just managed to speak to Raul a bit on the phone. I was pretty easy and sleepy and everything. Um, after everything they gave me, but I didn't feel a thing at the C-section. I vomited and did a lot of crazy stuff. As in, I don't know, I, I got sick in like minutes, then my head was felt dizzy then i just felt like i had something on my chest like a big weight pushing down it's just a roller coaster of sensations and i just can't wait to tell you everything in the vlog i wish you to be courageous and curious in this life to be a good man above all rock just to be kind and loyal to yourself and to your own beliefs Help others if you can and teach them kindness if they like it. I love you, but it won't always catch you when you fall. It won't spare you from heartbreak or failure. But you need to know I'm here for you. We are here for you, whatever you might need in this journey of yours or not. You know, they say kids choose their parents as something they need to heal, like past traumas or learning experiences. And they say that nevertheless, parents tend to be part of the soul's karmic family. So that means that many things had already happened between them in the past. That we have already matched our own karmic lessons. Thus, we aren't strangers to you. Today, the day you were born, was the best day of my life. Welcome here, baby. Welcome, baby. I'm happy I have him with me. This is the coolest feeling ever. We're just getting to know each other. And we attempted a first session of breastfeeding. Everything well, went well. I think I only have that very first drops of milk, colostrum. I think that's the name, hopefully. He's just trying to adapt to the new life. So I'm back in my room right now. Getting out of bed was quite a challenge, to be honest. I've been dizzy and a bit sweaty, but everything is okay now. Um, the second time I tried to get off the chair and into the bed was better, but still one of the legs, the right one, is still a bit numb from the C-section. Now, they brought me soup and I think some fruits and i'm just going to try and eat something everything is liquid um yeah i'm not allowed to eat solids for now but i hope it will be good <laughs> so this is how the belly looks right now kind of feels like jello but the uterus is contracted well i have a super sexy compression socks on this is how it looks from the side i have this panty on top which is just a mesh and i have to keep it just like this and the whole area is a bit sensitive especially here with the incision as an update right now the baby is has been taken to take his measurements and i asked them to give me something uh, for the pain. I think at maybe six o'clock they took out my urinary probe, uh, the one that I had on the C-section, as I told you right here in stories. I really hope you watched the stories. I have everything in highlights if you want to see a live version, let's say, of 
what was going on around here and after you take off this probe you just have like two to three hours up to three hours to go to the bathroom so i had clear chicken soup and water and now i managed to go to the bathroom while keeping baby rock on my chest i could feel i don't know I, maybe it was because of the breastfeeding situation and so it went quite well he attached nicely and he was just super chill as soon as he started breastfeeding i just felt this um, pressure like maybe pain was coming back or maybe not i don't know just some movement with my uterus and stuff like that so um definitely pain so they they said you know what whatever type of pain you feel just let us know we're just going to bring in a painkiller they just measure everything by hours so i have an iv right here for um, you know painkillers and hydration and glucose and whatever you might need i will be here until Friday morning I think so four days since it was a c-section and I'm wearing the sexy <laughs> hosiery situation over here yeah looking good so I have to wear them these are compression uh, hosiery special medicinal compression hosiery I'm just going to wear them up until tomorrow I was really hoping to have a natural birth to be honest uh, but the baby wasn't coming down I was um, dilated as I explained throughout the video I, I've been dilated my body responded well to everything uh, Michaela trust me she did her best she knew I wanted a natural birth so she tried her best to bring the baby down help the baby go down just open up my cervix you can not even imagine she had she told me this morning she has muscular fever due to you know how much she tried and I, I know she tried so much and I know I tried so much myself just reached this point where I was just on the table pushing then on the ball then sleeping a little bit because I was exhausted and getting on the table again pushing just some practice pushes so we could get used to it and maybe help the baby calm down but every time I would push it was okay in the contraction I was pushing good and stuff like that but every time the contraction stopped the baby just rose up so it was just like up to here in my stomach so it was in a pretty upwards position so we've been monitoring the baby all night so my only worry was about his heartbeat if the baby feels well or not because i had the epidural then the epidural faded whatever to be honest contractions for natural birth are totally you can handle them trust me uh, they told me i can handle a lot of pain now when i had the final contractions even on the c-section table before they gave me the anesthetic and everything they were i mean they were bad but at least you knew they're going to be finished at one time and then you had the time to rest so it is manageable the whole situation is it is manageable don't be afraid if you want to give birth naturally it's such a natural process it's if the baby is helping you and your body is responding right it is possible but for us unfortunately i was after maybe 12 hours i think i was exhausted i just i was shaking and i was just holding to the bars and trying to push one more and one more and we actually tried for like one hour just saw that the monitor wasn't as good as it was supposed to be it was 180 to 200 with the heart rate of the baby and so on so and the baby going into stress we just decided okay let's just go and have a c-section you know and i was definitely i had i had a disappointment moment i'm not going to lie uh but the doctor and the midwife kept telling me like you know you did everything you could you've been here for 12 hours you tried we tried every version available and indeed i don't want to see anything coming near my vagina in the next i don't know maybe two months um she was just trying as hard as she could to just rotate the baby and get him down and so on and it was hard okay it was hard for all of us i i tried to not to complain because i expected this with natural birth and we just moved on to the c-section now the c-section was pretty easy it was i think it took like maybe 20 minutes with anesthesia and everything because due to the fact that i had um the epidural or peridural or whatever you want to call it already they just um used the same place to just infuse a bit more anesthetic and then i just felt numb from the waist down so 
when they tested me, I was on the table and they started testing me. The doctor said, do you feel this? And he was just touching me with um, a cotton pad with, I think it was um, alcohol. And I just felt this the super strong smell of alcohol. And I was like, I definitely felt it. Uh, super cold up here and then it wasn't as cold on my legs or on my uh, waistline so that you know kind of meant that they could start so I didn't feel anything they just rose up the screen let's say and I, I just couldn't feel anything but the first very bad sensation I had it was that I was all of a sudden sick as fuck as in I wanted to puke and they gave me this side thing, I don't know, like a plate or something. And I just puked, I think maybe three or four times. Like not a lot, but definitely wasn't nice sensation. And I was just sick. I think that was due to um, the epidural and everything I had going on because I had multiple IVs and so on. He was just next to me and he said, you know what, I, I'm just going to give you a, a good good news. We already have this incision made and you didn't feel anything right. And I was like, yes, that's perfect. And we just went on and on. The only thing I could actually feel was the pressure of Mihaela working, let's say. And when they took out the baby, I just felt something rising from me, but not a, like a bad sensation again. And then putting my baby on my legs. My legs were just pushed down onto the table. I had this kind of an elastic band or something on top and my hands were just like so. With This one was, I think, with heart rate, no, with, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. I just had IV in this one and Marius was right over here and then Elena right over here measuring my blood pressure. Yeah, in the end, when I felt him on my legs, I was like, oh, this is finally over. I think by that time we had like 16 or 17 hours or something like this. And it was, it was hard, but I was somehow happy it was all over. And I couldn't believe that in the same session I got to experience two kinds of birth. Now I'm not at all disappointed with uh, the fact that it ended up with a c-section. I'm not at all disappointed with myself because my body responded well. I tried my best to just you know give birth naturally. I was just happy the baby he got an up guard 10. He was super healthy. Everything was good. He was screaming. I was crying and yeah they just took some pictures and we started the skin to skin process which happens also uh, with the c-section but they're just going to place him or her on your um, chest so the baby as soon as they put him on my chest rock was just super silent and looking at me with big eyes and i was like oh my god i can't believe this actually happened you know it's just such i i wouldn't say magic because i'm not so romantic and fantasies but it was definitely a very cool moment to see how um, how he got you know silenced just by by this whole process the skin to skin process It's 6.30 in the morning and last time the baby woke up was at 1.20 to have some milk. Then he went back to sleep with some on and off. But now, still sleeping. So today is the second day after the C-section and giving birth and we had a kinetotherapist here in um, the salon. He had me try to do different movements with my legs, just walking around the room, different, very simple 
um, leg to ab related let's say movements that would engage both the area where the um, surgical incision is so you could just um, learn to move better now as I told him I have 12 stores worth of stairs to climb but I'm going to arrive home this Friday so I'm very keen on trying to put as much effort as I can to just move around and just get better as soon as possible so we did all these exercises did some kind of squats like sitting down on the bed and getting up and so on and the same thing for obliques like just leaning on the side and then coming back and leaning on the other side and coming back and this is the kind of exercise that would help you to just get out of bed and yeah right now i just uh, i just fed rock and we are going to just get some sleep i washed my face i had a scale enzymatic uh, cleanser which doubles as a mask just had it on and it was so good to feel refreshed and I tied my hair and right now we're going to sleep he's sleeping already eating every three hours three up to four hours it depends but last night he slept from 2 a.m to 8 a.m without eating and actually some of the nurses said why well why didn't you wake him up to eat and i was like well if he slept through the night why would i wake him up to eat he was just sleeping like an angel uh, but yeah, it's just going, we're just going to figure this out as soon as we get to know each other and figure out each other's routines or his routine, to be honest, because my routine doesn't even matter anymore. So yeah, that's about it. That's what I wanted to tell you about what happened today. Um, also, Dr. Andreka, Andreka Sorin, which you might have uh, seen in a previous uh, vlog slash interview the one with how the baby is going to be taken care of after birth he was here he talked about whether or not the attachment is going good with the breastfeeding i said yes i just wanted to tell you that i feel so much better than i did this morning due to you do remember me walking in front of the camera like an old lady i'm so much better now and I'm happy because I can get up, I can actually lift the baby, I can change his diaper and I can do whatever I want, I want and it's just easier to go to the bathroom. So yeah, I just wanted to take a moment to tell you a big, big thank you for all your messages, your support on Instagram and so on. Over 333k people have been watching the stories, the birth and everything and I'm so happy to have you here on Instagram and on YouTube and hopefully this is going to be a vlog that's going to help you understand or better understand the process of giving birth and you know spending the first days uh, with your newborn child in the hospital. We're just going to go to sleep now. He's asleep already. So if he's crying, he's either hungry or he needs a diaper change. So up until now it's actually super simple not that complicated my lips tend to get pretty dry just waiting for lunch do we have lunch just have to call the assistant i have a remote control which i can use the push of a button someone will come into the room and assist you with whatever you need so yeah life is good over here what can i say it's not going to be as easy when we go back home what's up with your trousers so high waisted you like them, baby? You don't have a choice, do you? I'm going to let him sleep and just be next to him and enjoy. Oh, and I have right there breastfeeding tea. Just wanted to give you guys a bit of a reality check on how the body looks after giving birth. Now, remember, I wanted to go for natural birth. I went for a C-section. So here we have um, the incision. I'm wearing some heavy flow pants, but not as heavy and uh, big as in the first days. This is the second day, I think. Yeah, and these super sexy elastic um, Mesh undies, let's say this is how the belly looks right now Two days postpartum. So something like four months five months pregnant. I don't know. It depends. The uterus keeps contracting 
I do have some education to keep it contracting. Yeah, this is the way everything looks right now. I just wanted to normalize the process and actually show you how pregnant body looks after giving birth. So this was one of my questions, definitely. Never got to see it online in Romania, so here it goes. Good morning, so I just wanted to show you what you have in the bathroom. I just did a quick shower and washed my hair and I just wanted you to know what you can actually find here at Regina Maria and what to expect. So definitely two combs, then they have the dental kit, the vanity kit, which is this one. I opened one and I used a cotton swab, shower cap, liquid soap, and then shampoo and shower gel. I think this is all two vanity kits, yeah. But this is what you're going to find in your bathroom. Now what I have over here, I think you've already seen in my video with the hospital bag, the foundation, the cream, the eye cream, the SPF drops, definitely a must have. Foreo just used it in the shower with this kale exfoliator. And yeah, this one I also use a lot. And I'm really proud to have it because it's just a must have and it's a super nice travel size natural deodorant. The perfume, yes, you girls were right. I didn't use it at all. I didn't feel the need. Maybe tomorrow when I get out of the hospital, I don't know, we'll see. Here we have some makeup and a Tangle teaser, which I highly recommend you to have one. You can just wash your hair just after the shower and also just doubles for when you want to style your hair, just, you know, get in a ponytail or something like this. Love it, I have this black and gold version of it. Milk made tea, this is something you get every morning. You can just call if you want more and they will bring it. Such a beautiful light over here. And they just cleaned my room. So I wanted to give you a look. The baby is at the screening right now. So that's why he's not here with me. Here we have the breakfast. So I already got to eating solids. So I have bread, yogurt, egg, uh, butter, muesli, and then I have chicken, and I think this is cheese. I don't know, but there's a special menu for C-section mamas. And the first days I only had like soup. There we have the tea, the camera, which to be honest, I really used. And today I hope to use another film. Let me show you some pictures we took. So here are some photos. Here's Rock wearing all white. He's been changed into this white outfit and he was so cute, really. Here was, I think this was our first night together. Yes, but it was in the morning actually. I took the, this photo in the morning. And this one was, yeah. I tried to snap a picture of that label on his bed, but it's not so accurate. Anyhow, I will take more pictures. I just wanted to show you girls why I didn't pack anything postpartum-like, because you have over here mattresses, so you don't wet the bed. You have super big absorbents like this one. And if you think this one is huge, wait till you see the diaper version you will be wearing in the first two days, blue one. So yeah, that's why I didn't pack any of these. Um, they also give you some to take home, so you're safe. Over here you have towels, more towels, and this is my t-shirt. You have nightgowns if you want, to. you can just use theirs if you want. More towels and sheets, and they come and they change your bed every day if you want and they clean the room. To be honest, everything is really, really nice. Anytime you would need anything, you just press the button over here on this remote control, just like so. This one is for the nurse. Whenever you need a painkiller or an IV or something like this, whatever you need help in the room, Sometimes I just call them to, to help me with my phone or something like that or with the light because I was in bed and I couldn't move. And then you have here the number for neonato. 
you just dial 492 whenever you want them to bring the kid or if you want them to take the kid and so on as i told you rock has been with me from day one um and we slept together during the night but right now he is at screening so over here you have a couch i don't know if it extends it should extend because this is the vip room with and someone can sleep with you from what i understood my boots over here the t-shirt here's the shirt i really use that one the animal print shirt from h&m labor ball and then we have here a pillow for, for breastfeeding which i did not use really but i will use one at home i just want to have him really really close so here's my luggage the tripod the bag and that's about it. Now with our stem cells, we decided to have them uh, collected here by Regina Maria. Uh, I'm just going to tell you more about them later. But I just wanted to have this quick insert and tell you about it. Today I just want to take some pictures with the baby here in the salon. So I'm just going to apply um, some foundation, maybe an eyeliner, some quick makeup. I managed to put on some makeup. I washed my hair. Um, Rock uh, was gone this morning for about two hours um, for some tests and I hopped into the shower, I washed my hair, I did my makeup. To be honest, I was lazy with my makeup and I just used the side table and I was just laying in bed and doing my makeup. But this makes me feel good and look at me, I'm wearing my um, Retro Future Prototype um, loungewear black pyjama, black silk pyjama yeah i just wanted to give you an update and tell you that this is uh what is it the third day it's thursday 17th of september and it's been such a magical journey to be honest such a beautiful um, and emotional roller coaster but it's super impressive the relationship you create with your kid is just something that comes so instantly and it's just there's nothing beyond this type of relationship trust me what's up baby what's up i'm just talking about you yes baby a baby morning I just love looking at him. This is what I would like to do all day. Good morning, baby. Just one night. We have just one night to spend here in the hospital. And tomorrow you're going to meet your daddy and your grandma. Tomorrow we're going home. Oh, you're really sleepy, aren't you? You sleep a lot, you know? Ever since you came into this world, all you do is just sleep. Eat, sleep, rave, repeat. Domni, domni, galushka, Mika. Galushka, Mika. Eh, 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 eh. I forgot to talk. I forgot to talk. Why? Rumo seta do mama. Rumo seta do mama, da. Internet, meet. Rock tension. Woo!